All right. What happened? What activities did you do during the week? Oh, yeah. Um, um, homework in uh -huh. house. Um, yes. Study English. Um, and check in, in job. Check on, check in the in the job in the in the work. In the, the work. work at work. At okay, work. good, excellent. All right, we have also Kenya. Hello, Kenya. Good afternoon. Excellent. Kenya, can you hear me? Kenya. Hola. Hello. Hola. <laughs> can you hear me? <laughs> sí. ¿Sí me escuchas? Can you hear me? Sí. All right. How are you today, Kenya? I'm fine. You're fine. Okay. How was your week? Mm. Tell us. We want to know. What did you do? Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, nice. Well, okay. We have somebody else here, Victor. Hello, Victor. Hello, teacher. Hey, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you, teacher? I'm great, as usual. It's Saturday, it's the weekend. <laughs> it's the weekend and we have to enjoy it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, are you new, a new student, Victor? Or are you moving from another class? Uh, I'm a new student. You're a new student, great, awesome. Yeah. Well, that's what we want, that this group becomes bigger and bigger and bigger. Excellent. How was your week, Victor? It was it was uh, great. Uh, I stayed very uh, uh, busy. I had a lot of work. Work, okay, Victor. Uh, remind me. Well, I don't, I don't, I don't know you, you um yet. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Acapulco. Acapulco? Yeah. Where, what, what neighborhood in Acapulco? Okay, I live uh, near Palomares, Potrillo. Um, by Mosimba, right? Uh, yeah, so, so. Kind near of, Chedraui. yeah. Yeah, near kind of. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I have an idea. Excellent. Okay, we have somebody else here. It's Irene or oh, Irene in English. <laughs> Irene. Hello, Irene. Can you hear me? Irene? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, excellent. How are you today? Fine. You're fine. fine. Thanks. All right. Yes. Also, the first time I see you here, right? Are you a new student? Yes, I'm a new student. Okay. Where are you from, Irene? I'm from Acapulco. You're in Acapulco too. Excellent. Well, what neighborhood? Um, near to Zócalo. Oh, near Zócalo, by Caleta, downtown. Nice, excellent. Uh, we have uh, Guadalupe. Yes, teacher, here, good afternoon. Ah, uh, Lupita? Yes. <laughs> Oh, I recognize your voice. <laughs> Where you be, Lupita? Yes, teacher. Hi. You disappeared you... from the map. ¿Cómo? Perdón, ¿Cómo? pero no se escucha. No sé si es mi internet. Yes. What What did you do? Did you You disappeared from the map. Is in the map. You disappeared from the map. I mean, are you still in Chiapas? Yes. Are Are yes. you still working? Yes, in, in Chiapas. In Chiapas, okay. Yes. Well, Lupita is from Chiapas. Yes. So yeah, Lupita from Chiapas, Irene from Acapulco, Kenya is from San Marcos, Kenya? No? Yes, San Marcos. San Marcos, Victor is from Acapulco. Carolina, you are in Acapulco, Carolina? I don't remember. Yes, teacher, in Acapulco. What neighborhood, Carolina? Um, Ejido. 
Well, close. I am by La Salle, by La Salle College, so not far. Well, it's kind of far, <laughs> depends. Depends. Okay, guys, uh, let's continue, please. Welcome one more time. Remember, today is our second lesson of Unit 1, Level 2. Let's remember a little bit what we did last week. Okay, let's introduce again ourselves and say where you're from and why you're studying English. Okay, because most of you are new here, except Kenya. Kenya's been here for a couple of weeks, I guess. Just to see how you're good speaking. Your name, where you're from, what you do, if you're a student or you work, or, and why you are taking English classes. Okay, like the reason why you're here. Remember, name, where you are from, occupation. That means I am a student, I work in an office, I am an engineer, I am an architect, etc. That's occupation. And uh, then why? Uh, you are you are taking English classes. This is just an activity to know you a little bit better. Yes, please let's start. Okay, the first one on my screen it's Carolina. You are the winner, Carolina. Yes, please. Oh. Tell us, we want to know. Hello, my name is Carolina. Um, my my from is Sacapulco. Um, my occupation is supervision the water product water process control. Um, water process control. Oh yeah, it's you to say right. You work for Capama. Yes, teacher. Yeah, okay. And the last one, why are you taking English classes? Like maybe you have a reason or something? Okay. Um, I think English um, um, is necessary, necessary for mm -hmm. Communication. Communication, yes. A study. Um, yes. Drive. Drive. Um, travel. 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 For travel. Travel. Okay, good. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Victor, what about you? Tell us. Okay, I am Victor de la O, and I am from Acapulco. I work in my dad's business. Uh, mm -hmm. He he has a taqueria. Yes, a taco yes, place. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, and I study in English because uh, I need to learn. Um, because I we I wish studying in the Canada College. And you want to study in Canada? Yeah, yeah, about two years maybe. You wanna move to Canada in two years? Nice. Canada yeah, is beautiful, but uh, you need a good level of English. Remember? Yes, I need. Well, to. if you go, if you go legally there, like you need to take a certification. They need to test your level. So well, that's an excellent idea that you're here. Yes, I need to uh, certification in IELTS. IELTS, yeah. I yeah, just have yeah. a student, a, a student who moved to Canada. He took the IELTS in Mexico City, and he was my student for a few weeks. So I prepared that student. I think okay. he's a sous chef. Yeah. Yeah, uh, he was. 
Yes, excellent. Please continue. Yes, and this is my this is my my principal reason. Uh huh. Yes, and 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 it is, it's very important. Yeah, it's very important. Uh, yeah. Have you taken English classes here in Italy at English Access, or is your first time? And in in English Access is my first time. First time. Were yes. you somewhere else before? Um, before, yeah, in another school in Mexico City. Ah, Mexico City, excellent. Yeah. Good, thank you, Victor. Yes, thank you. All right, you. let's see, Kenya, let's hear about you. Hi, my name is Kenya Lisbeth Perulero Torres. Where are you from? San Marcos, I am San Marcos. Occupation. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I am a student, business, administration, engineering. Okay, yeah, I think you, I remember. You are from San Marcos. Okay, yes. good, thank you, Kenya. Uh, Lupita, the new girl from Chiapas. Tell us, Lupita. Yes, teacher. Hi, my name is Guadalupe. Uh, I love it, uh, Lupita. <laughs> um, I I work in here Chiapas, in the office, uh, in the administration, administrative administration. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Um, uh, in the in the school. Is a teacher horario? Is just true? What is the pronunciation? Yeah, you were here before with us in a different schedule. Schedule. Schedule, okay. Schedule, yes. Horario, schedule. Yes, is the oh, is is um eight a.m. and three three. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yes. All right. Thank you. Good, uh, Lupita. You are, are you kind of sick? Because you, your voice sounds different. Yes, teacher. Oh, you have a concert last night. Did you sing or karaoke or something? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was Saturday. I mean, it was Friday. No, no? Teacher, yes. no because... <laughs> I I am resfriado. Ah, you have a cold. Yes, a cold. A cold? Uh, my my voice is uh, ronca. <laughs> yeah, you you sound like Ana Gabriel. You should sound, <laughs> you should sing something. <laughs> okay, guys, thank you very much. Let's continue, yeah. please. That was just a little introduction, just to know who you are. Uh, what? Let's continue. So we were talking about friends last time, about who your friends are, how you know your friends, and why you like your friend, etc. The reason why they are your friends. So this was last class. We have these exercises with Kenya and Marco. Uh, they were the only ones last time. Okay, what well, you know about your classmates? That's what we were seeing right now. Well, something more like general, right? Where are they from, their names, and their occupation, what they do. So we start the unit talking about making friends. Hold on, please. Okay, uh, we have lesson A, B, C, and D. So last time we started with lesson A. Learning these questions, we have today lesson B. We practice these exercises and we practice the verb B. 
the present of being and the simple present. That's very important you know this. Let's please remind a little bit of both because some of you is your first time here. So try to remember present of be and simple present. These are very different because some students get confused. Present, remember present of be is when you have, uh, let me write here, you have am, is, or are, correct? Do, I mean, simple present is when you have just the verb, except the verb be. For example, I eat every day. I play soccer. I watch TV, that's simple present. And we have, of course, the question form of both. If you are talking about verb be, first, is the verb be means am, um, is, or are goes first. Then the subject, then the complement, and we close the sentence with a question mark. That's verb be. Verb be is a yes or no question. So we always answer yes, I am, or no, I am not. Then we add extra information to the sentence. So we were practicing this, like for example, I ask, let's say Victor, Victor, are you a student? Yes, I am. Yes, excellent. Carolina, are you a dancer? Yes, I am, teacher. Are you a dancer, really? <laughs> dancer. Dancer? Dancer, bailarina, are you a dancer? No, 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 no I'm not. <laughs> okay. I said, really? <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> okay. Well, we have yes or no questions. Remember, are verb is yes or no questions. So we respond with a short form. Yes, I am. Or no, I am not. Then we add extra information. That is for question four. Oh, yes, we are. In case we had, we talk about, we talk about you, plural. No, we are not. The difference with simple present for questions, instead of this, we use do. Do you have any brothers and sisters? So we are using do. Yes, yes, I do. No, I don't. All of them except he, she, and it. So that's where we have to pay attention. For example, here we have does, but we are talking about brother. Brother is third personal. I mean, third person singular. So it's singular. So we use does. We don't use do. We saw that in level one. Well, you, you were here. We saw that in level one. We, we use do for he, she, or it. Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. The same, we add extra information here. He goes to accept. He goes to the same college as me. No, he doesn't. He works at a bank. So as you see here, there is something next on the verb, right? Goes, why? Because this, we are talking about singular. No, he doesn't, he works. We are adding an S to the verb. So it's very important you review these tenses. These are information questions, for example, for, for example, what? Then we have where. Where do your parents live? Parents is plural, so that's why we use do. Do they live nearby? This is a yes or no question. 
Yes, they do. They live near here. No, they don't. They don't live around here. Okay, that's just a review of this. The most important in this lesson. Okay, uh, let's try to review this exercise, please, everybody. Um, think of a possible question for each answer compared with a partner. Okay, let's 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 do it together, please. We have it last 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 week. Let's let's do it again. You have the answer here. You have the answer. So you need to write the question. The answer is the answer is no. I'm not. I have a brother and a sister. Here you have B. She works at a software company. Let's see what you can do with this exercise. Remember, you need to pay attention on the on the on the answer. Let's give you the first one. The only child, are you the only child? Hijo único? No, I'm not. I have a brother and a sister. Then continue with the next one. Yes, can you do it? Yes, can you do it? ¿Lo pueden hacer? Yes. Yes, okay. yes, you can, yes, no, yes, no, levanten la manita, okay? Yes, teacher. Para no sentirme tan solito, pues. Okay. Uh, let's go, please. In teams, we have how many people we have? Five. Help each other, please. Hold on. Okay, let's wait, please. We have Irene. Please go ahead. Okay, guys, let's see what you have. Um, 
Well, we have number one. We said number one was, are you an only child? You also please try to pay attention on the pronunciation. If you have trouble, remember you have problems pronouncing a word, you need to repeat over and over. Okay, so we said number one, number one was, are you an only child? And there's a short form, short uh, answer is no, I'm not. I have a brother and a sister. Okay, number two. Let's see. Um, who's first? Carolina, you're first on my screen. Number two, what do you have in number two? Um, number two, where does she work? Yeah, where does she work? Where does your sister work? Where does your sister? Where does your sister? Remember, this is a conversation. Where does your sister work? Yes, work. No, it's work. Because we have does here, so work. Does help us to use to use just the base verb. No se le agrega nada al verbo cuando tenemos el auxiliar. Does. Where does your sister work? She works at some work company. She works at a software company. Okay, Carolina, can you read A and B? And she works at a software company. Yes, she works, yes, excellent. Kenya, number three, please. Do you have a car? Okay, what's the answer? No, no, I don't. I usually use my dad's car. Yes, excellent. Okay, and uh, Lupita, number four. Yes, teacher. Uh, what, what is your light color? What is what? What is like? Like? No, no, no. What is uh, your favorite color? Yes. What is your favorite color? Read the answer, please. Tur turquoise. 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 And I and I like blue. I like blue too. too. Yes, excellent. Okay, uh, Victor, number five. Okay, number five. Are your parents from here? Are your parents from here? Okay, let it be. Read, let yeah, read. they are. Okay, yeah, they are. My girl, my grandparents are from here too. Excellent. Good job. Number six. Irene. Okay. <laughs> she left. Oops. Okay, what? Carolina. What? What does with you, Sonic? Um, okay. What does? What do? We usually. Do usually? Uh huh. What does with what does with usually? Uh, no. Pay attention on the answer. We usually put 
shopping or have lunch? So imagine the question. Okay, anybody else have an idea? Has an idea? Carolina? Yes, teacher. Um, uh, Victor, either one? Uh, uh, okay, um, I think what do we uh, what do what do you usually on weekends maybe? Or? Yeah, you can say what do you usually do okay let's say on your free time okay you usually go shopping or have lunch or as you said uh, what do you usually do on the weekends right or what do you do on your break on your break time etc it's only an imagination teacher? Yes. Okay. Yes. But the, the, the question has to make sense with the answer. Okay, Irene, you're back. Irene? Can you hear me? Irene? Okay, I think she still have some issues with the internet or something. Uh, let's continue. Who can tell me number seven? Four. Does she live nearby? Nearby. Yeah. So what is the what is the question, uh, Carolina? Does she live nearby? Does she live nearby? Nearby. Or oh, does your sister live nearby? Yes, she live. Last one, last one, please. Volunteers, anyone? Number eight. Yeah. Number eight, maybe, how are your classmates? How are your classmates? You need one more word, uh, Victor. At the end? Hmm. You're close, you're close. How are, How are your classmates? How are classmates? But here, instead of how, we said. What are you? L. Mm. Here's the word. L. What are your classmates? Yeah, this is from level one to what are your classmates like? We use uh -huh. like at the end when we ask for a, this, a personality description. In this case, my classmates, they are smart. Right. What are, what they are all smart. What are your classmates? Yes. Okay, excellent. So we did this exercise last week. Now we have to jump. We have to jump. We have to continue to the next topic. Okay, please pay attention. So we're going to listen. We're going to have a listening practice.
Okay, let's ask uh, Victor. Can you read the instructions starting from? Hold on. Okay. Uh, listening and speaking, what's the question? Letter A, listen to Miranda's answers to, the, to these questions. Number the questions, one to six. Yes, excellent. You have the first one. Number one is, you will hear, you will listen to, but you need to order the sentences. For example, number one, what's your favorite season? Please pay attention, pay attention on the exercise. And you need to number like here, one, two, three, four, etc. Page three, four, listening and speaking. What's the question? A and B. Listen to Miranda's answers to these questions. One. Well, spring is nice, but it's not really my favorite. I like winter here. It's really cold, but it's sunny and the sky is blue every day. It's beautiful. Two. Wow, that's a hard. Hold on. Hard one. Hmm. I listen to a lot of different music, but, well, I like toy. They're really good. They're not very well known. And I like to listen to new bands, you know. But my favorite, you know, I don't have a favorite. Three. Not really. Sometimes after work, I go out for dinner with a friend, but usually I just go straight home. I don't get home till about seven or eight, and then I usually just have dinner and watch TV or something like that. Four. Well, I live in an apartment and we can't have them there. But I love animals, so I'd like a cat or something. Anyway, my apartment's pretty small, so I have a goldfish. I think that's okay. Five. Actually, these days, not much. My parents live about an hour from here by car. So I usually only see them on holidays or something. I call my mom every Sunday though, and we catch up then. Six. Oh, I don't really do anything special. I usually meet up with a friend or two and we go out for coffee and chat. Sometimes on Friday or Saturday night, we go to a club and dance or we go and see a movie. Okay, excellent. <clears throat> Let's continue. Do you have the answers or would you like to listen one more time? Yes? I, I have the answers, teacher. Okay, let's see. Uh, we have number one already. What do you have in number two, Victor? Okay, num number two is, do you ever go out on weeknights? Do you ever go out on weeknights? That's number two? Okay. Carolina, what do we have in number three? I mean, I'm sorry, next, number three. Number three, do you ever go out on weeknights? Same. Uh, sorry, sorry, teacher. Uh, number two is what's your favorite band? That's number three. Okay. Uh, number number two. What's your yeah. favorite band? 
Yeah, number two, yeah, it's it's <clears throat> number two is your favorite band. Yeah. And number three is do you yes. ever go out on weeknight? Yes. Okay, number four, Irene. Bueno? Yes, what do you have for number four? I know I can see teacher. teacher. Okay, check your audio, please. What do you have in number four? Number four. How much? Uh, let, Irene, can you hear me? How much time do you spend with your family? That's number four. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have, guys, in number four? And number four, do you have any pets? Yes. Do you have any pets? And number five, Irene. You already said it before. How much time do you spend with your family? Yes, the other one. That's number five. And of course, number six, it's the last one. Yeah, let's listen one more time, please. Page three, four, listening and speaking. What's the question? A and B. Listen to Miranda's answers to these questions. One. Well, spring is nice, but it's not really my favorite. I like winter here. It's really cold, but it's sunny, and the sky is blue every day. It's beautiful. Two. Wow, that's a hard one. Hmm. I listen to a lot of different music, but, well... I like toy. They're really good. They're not very well known. And I like to listen to new bands, you know. But my favorite? You know, I don't have a favorite. Three. Not really. Sometimes after work, I go out for dinner with a friend. But usually, I just go straight home. I don't get home till about seven or eight, and then I usually just have dinner and watch TV or something like that. Four. Well, I live in an apartment, and we can't have them there. But I love animals, so I'd like a cat or something. Anyway, my apartment's pretty small, so I have a goldfish. I think that's okay. Five. Actually, these days, not much. My parents live about an hour from here by car. So I usually only... Okay, sorry. Hold on. ...only see them on holidays or something. I call my mom every Sunday, though, and we catch up then. Six. Oh, I don't really do anything special. I usually meet up with a friend or two and we go out for coffee and chat. Sometimes on Friday or Saturday night, we go to a club and dance or we go and see a movie. Okay, good. Now, uh, good job, excellent. Uh, listen again. So now you need to write, take notes for each question, okay? What you learn about Miranda. You need to tell me in the chat, on the chat. Listen one more time and tell me what you learn about Miranda. You need to write those on the chat. Page three, four, listening and speaking. What's the question? A 
and B. Listen to Miranda's answers to these questions. One. Well, spring is nice, but it's not really my favorite. I like winter here. It's really cold, but it's sunny and the sky is blue every day. It's beautiful. Two. Wow, that's a hard one. Hmm. I listen to a lot of different music, but, well, I like toy. They're really good. They're not very well known. And I like to listen to new bands, you know. But my favorite? You know, I don't have a favorite. Three. Not really. Sometimes after work, I go out for dinner with a friend, but usually I just go straight home. I don't get home till about seven or eight, and then I usually just have dinner and watch TV or something like that. Four. Well, I live in an apartment, and we can't have them there. But I love animals, so I'd like a cat or something. Anyway, my apartment's pretty small, so I have a goldfish. I think that's okay. Five. Actually, these days, not much. My parents live about an hour from here by car. So I usually only see them on holidays or something. I call my mom every Sunday, though, and we catch up then. Six. Oh, I don't really do anything special. I usually meet up with a friend or two, and we go out for coffee and chat. Sometimes on Friday or Saturday night, we go to a club and dance. Or we go and see a movie. Okay, guys. Do you write in your notebook the answers? Okay, let's ask number one. What's your favorite season? Let's write it on the chat. What did she say? Number one. Write it on the chat. I want to see you writing. Here on Zoom, not on WhatsApp, here on Zoom. Okay, favorite season is spring. Yes, spring. Spring. S P R. Sorry. Spring. S P R I N G. Spring. Yes, excellent. Okay, we have just the answer from Irene. And Carolina, so good. Number two, what's, what's your favorite band, Miranda? What's Miranda's favorite band? Just mm. yes, write it on the chat, please. She doesn't have a favorite band. Excellent. That's Victor. Oh, number three. Good. Miranda, do you ever go out on weeknights? What did she say?
Do you ever go out on weeknights? Uh, weeknights. Weeknights are from Monday to Friday. She says something after work. Okay, come on, come on. What does she do on weeknights? Does she ever go out on weeknights? Yes, she sometimes she goes out with her friends, right? Good. Excellent, Irene and Victor. Number four, Miranda, do you have any pets? Does Miranda have any pets? Yeah, Kenya, she cooks dinner sometimes. Number four, does Miranda have any pets? She says something about an apartment. Yes, yeah, she has a goldfish. Excellent. She would like a cat, right? A cat. Good, good job. Number five. How much time does Miranda spend with her family? How much time does Miranda spend with her family? Yeah, yeah. She hardly ever. She hardly ever spends time spend spend uh, spends time with her family because they live far. Good, good job. Number six. Okay, everyone, please, Lupita. I want to hear from you. I want to read from you. Carolina, please, ideas. Number six. What does Miranda usually do on the weekends? What does Miranda usually do on the weekends? Any idea? What does he usually do on the weekends? Miranda goes for coffee and she sees movies too. Okay, I need everybody Please. Carolina, Kenya, Irene. Oh, Marco Antonio is also here. Marco Antonio, hello. No, Mr. Mr. Marco, how are you? I'm fine. Fine, excellent. Okay, guys, let's continue, please. Remember, you all have to participate, okay? So that's good for you, for the record. Okay, tell me. Tell me guys, uh, two things you have in common with your best friend. We all have a best friend, right? You see the pictures here? Uh, Victor, what do you see in this picture? 
Uh, here, the one, here. Yeah, and uh, play video games, uh, go shopping, um, play soccer and play basketball, and drink, drink beer. Yeah. Uh, take a breakfast, maybe. Okay, good. Okay, guys, let, the question is, name two things you have in common with your best friend. Let's see, um, Carolina, two things you have in common with your best friend. Just two. Yes, teacher. Yeah, look at the screen here. Name two things you have in common with your best friend. Um, I have been with shopping. Uh, shopping, you like shopping? Shopping. Mm -hmm. What else? Coffee, I drink coffee. And you like coffee, you love coffee. Um, exercise. Yes, so just two things, you, you said three. You like to exercise, okay, excellent. Kenya, two things you have in common with your best friend. Um, we like to listen to music. Yes. And dancing. <laughs> like dancing, oh, nice. A good thing, right? For the parties, for the karaoke. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right, uh, Victor. Things you have in common with your best friend? Yeah, uh, we like play soccer and we like play video games. Soccer and video games. Okay. Yeah. Good. Uh, Irene. Same question. Two things you have in common with your best friend. Yeah, we like to go shopping and go to the beach. Ah, nice. One of my favorite things is the beach. Whenever I have free time, beach. Because I don't live too far, so I just walk. Excellent. Marco, two, name, two, name, two things you have in common with your best friend. It, they don't have to be uh, like these pictures, you know, like a different activity. I don't know. Um, play soccer and video game. Yes, okay, same like uh, Victor, to play soccer and to play video games, okay? Nice. Like yeah, me. he is my best friend. Who? He is my best friend. Who? Uh, Mark Antonio. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> You're lying. Is that true? Yes. Uh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I say, yeah, you're lying. Well, yeah. you are uh, teasing me. Teasing me. That's the best word. <laughs> It's just a coincidence. Well, most, yeah. of the, most of the people, most of the guys at your age, they like, they love the soccer. Well, I don't like soccer. Uh, I don't like video games, but <laughs> you know, different taste. Okay, let's continue, please. We have next lesson, lesson B things in common. We were talking about your friend, right? What you have with your friend. Look at the picture. What are they talking about? Imagine. For example, uh, Carolina, look at this picture. Um, what they are talking about? Pet and dog. I mean, they're talking about dogs, right? Okay, uh, Kenya, what do you think about this? What do you think these people are talking about? Imagine, just guess. Um, Victor. <laughs> well, these are televisions. <laughs> <laughs> TV. TV, yeah. 
they look like pictures. Okay, what about this one, uh, Marco? Mm, shopping. Shopping. <laughs> they are shopping, right? They are in a store. Okay, Irene, what do you think the people have in common? Picture number one. Well, any of those pictures. What do you think people have in common? Both don't like animals. Number one, they like animals, right? Right. Uh, what do you think, um, Victor? What do you think the people have in common? Would be number two, or number three. Okay, um, number two, maybe they like watch TV. They like to watch. Maybe don't, they don't like to watch TV. Okay. Excellent. Lupita, are you there? Lupita. No, she isn't. Okay. Picture number three. Uh, let's ask Carolina. Yes, teacher. What do the people in the picture here have in common? Number three. Um, the shopping is friends. Yeah. They are shopping, right? That's what they have in common. Well, before this, let's practice some reading here. Let me see, Victor, you read number one. Um, Carolina, you read number two. And Irene, you read number three. Okay, please. Okay. Number one, dogs are so noisy and they always Greg thinks I'm just not an animal lover, I guess. Well, I'm not either. I am allergic to dogs and cats. Yes, you see the opposite. They don't like dogs, they don't like animals because they are noisy. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. All right, number two. I don't watch much television. No, I don't either. I mean, I watch pro football. Yeah, I do too. But that's about it. Okay, number three. I love shopping. I can shop for hours. Too bad I can't afford anything new. I know I can either. I'm broke. Yeah, I'm too. Okay, good. Well, guys, let's pay attention on this grammar in this. Um, Hold on. They are always great. They always great things. I am just not. This is a negative sentence. I am just not an animal lover, I guess. And the other person responds, well, I am not either. Right? He said no at the beginning. And the other person, I am not either. You can put, I am not either. So they are using verb be here. In the second one, another negative form. I don't watch much television. No, I don't either. Remember, either is for negative statements. I mean, I watched pro football. This is affirmative, positive. So he says, yeah, I do too. You see the difference? But in this one, they are talking about simple present. This one, simple present. And this one is verb B. Number three. I can show up for hours too, but I can't, I can't afford anything new. 
a four, remember a four, this when you can pay something, you have the money. I know, I can either. So they are using cane, the model cane here. So the same, I can either. Yes? And then here, she says, I'm broke. That's positive. Yeah, I am too. Okay, let's see the grammar. Let's see the grammar. So maybe you understand it better. Either and two. Okay, we have some activities here. We are going to practice what I just told you. All right, uh, Carolina, can you read the instructions on letter B, please? Yes, teacher. Number one, little A. I am a football fan. Just instructions. Sorry, sorry. Just oh, instructions. Right. Okay, excuse me. Complete this response so the speakers Agreed. Use the conversation about to help. Yeah, you have to pay attention here. These are easy, simple sentences. For example, you have the letter A, I'm. Second one, so you have I am. Here you have simple present, I have I do. Okay, let's do it, please. Let's see, uh, Kenya, can you tell me number one? Remember, we are working on either and two. I am. Okay. I am football fan. Uh -huh. Yes, I am. What do you need here? Um, Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I am. Four. Two. 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 Yo también. I am two. Two. Okay. Yes, yes, I am two. Remember, this is a positive sentence. Statement. Number two. two. Marco. I love shopping. Oh, I do. I do? I, oh, I do. I do, I do too? Yes, I do. Excellent. Okay, this, it does a simple. Yes, I'm two. I am two. Oh, I do too. Remember, you're using verb B or you are using simple present. Check the difference. Verbis, people present. Now let's go with the negative. Irene, can you do number three, please? Yes. I don't like animals. No, I don't either. Either, excellent. Either. Either. Okay, remember this, this is one of the forms to say you también, you tampoco. We have many, more, like a couple more, but this is just a basic. When you say me too or me neither, that's simple, right? This is one of those forms. You can say me too or me neither. But we are going to learn different ways to say the same. One is more formal than the other ones. Okay, Victor, number four, please. Okay, uh, I can't have a pet. I can't, uh, neither. Neither. Okay. 
Remember what you use in the first sentence is what you have to use in the second one. For example, here you use the negative form of the simple present. I don't like animals. No, I don't eat it neither. I can have a pet. I can neither. Hold on, please. Sorry. Uh, there's a little mistake here. Hold on. We say neither, it's not neither, it's either. There is a little difference between neither and either. They mean the same. They mean the same. We will see that later. Why neither or why either? I don't wanna go into details right now so you don't get confused. But in this one, you use either because you have a negative form here like don't or can. So that's why, but I am gonna try to explain to you later. That's either, either. Okay, let's do the grammar, please. Responses with two and either. So in this one, it's very important you pay attention and try to understand. Present of be, simple present and can. This is for now. Okay, this is basic, but we have many more, we have much more information about this. So please pay attention. Page four, two, grammar. Responses with to and either. Present of B. I'm allergic to cats. I am too. I'm not an animal lover. I'm not either. Simple present. I watch pro football. I do too. I don't watch much television. I don't either. Can. I can shop for hours. I can too. I can't afford anything new. I can't either. People also respond with <laughs> me too and me neither or me either yeah that's what i said it's the same we have different forms to say me too or me neither but they are very simple you know so we will have we have to try we try different forms let's read please hold on hold on hold on I have an, I am not getting sick. Anyway, I, I because I'm allergic to, to cats, not to dogs. Anyway, uh, let's see. Let's read, please. One, one. One reads, for example, uh, let me see. We have present of B, simple present and can, right? Let's ask, uh, let's see, Kenya reads, I am allergic to cats. Then Marco continues, I watch pro football. And then Karuna continue with, I can shop for hours. Okay? Okay. Let's do it all together. Okay, you start Kenyan. I am allergic to car. I am too. Uh, I am not an animal lover. I am not either. Yes. 
I watch for football. I do too. I don't watch much television. I don't. I don't. Hey. Either. 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 We have a TH pronunciation that's either, either, either. Sometimes you will hear some people say either, either. Uh, but that's a little bit British when they say either or neither. So we have the two pronunciations are correct. <clears throat> okay, Victor, can you read Ken? Okay, I can shop for hours. I can too. I can't afford anything new. I can't either. Yes, excellent. Let's see. Um, Irene, can you read in conversation, please? Here. Yes. Read here in conversation. Uh, people actually say me either. More often that than me neither. Yeah, you see here, me either is more common than me neither. Me neither. Me neither. It's very simple, but it's correct. Me neither. Hold on, please, let me move this away. Let's practice this exercise, please. Okay, and um, Kenya, can you read the instructions in on letter A? Um, respond to this statement using two or either the practice with a partner. Yeah, respond to these statements. Statements. Respond. The stress goes in fun. Respond. Respond to these statements. Yes. And statements. No statements. Timer. Statements. Yes. Respond statements. to these statements. Okay. You have uh, six sentences. So you, you have to work with your partner. You have to practice using two or either. You have simple present and you have verb B and you have can. The six sentences. Okay, practice please. Okay, hold on please. Go ahead,
Okay, guys, let's continue, please. Uh, let's see what you do, what you did. Okay, number one, we have the example. I watch a lot of sports on TV. I did two. Uh, Victor, what do you have in number two? Okay, number two. I am allergic to nuts. I am two. I'm too. Okay, uh, Irene? I can afford a new laptop. I can either. Yes, I can either. Okay, Kenya number four. I'm no. Either. Okay, read the sentence. I don't need them. Yeah, but read the sentence. Read I am no, mm -hmm. I am no a morning person. Uh huh. I don't. Yes. I am not a morning person. I am too. No, you have not. I am not a morning person. Remember, you if you have negative, of course, you use either. I am not. I am not either. Either, yes. Remember, either is for negative statements and two is for positive statements. Number five, Marco. Uh, I don't have a pet. I, have, I am not either. Well, you have done. Pay attention on the tense. I don't have a pet. I don't have a pet. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you said? No. I don't. I, I'm not. I. Do you have verb B or you have simple present? In this case, you have. Simple present in the negative form i don't have a pet so you said i don't i don't either yes i don't either excellent i don't either carolina number six i can eat chocolate all day i can too i can too excellent easy right Easy or difficult? Easy. Easy. Easy, easy. Piece of cake for you. Well, let's practice. Let's practice. Okay, this is a pair work. Let's let's read, please. Um, Irene, can you read the instructions? Uh, okay. Make the statements above true for you. 
Yeah, this is a pair word. You know, pair word is two people. Student A says, make, make these statements about true for you. Student B, give your own responses. Okay. For example, I don't watch a lot of sports on TV. The other sense says, I don't either. Or really? Depends on your answer. So you're going to respond with your own information. Something that is true for you. Could be about music, about food, about sports, hobbies, etc. But you need to respond with, I am not either, or I am too, I do too, or I don't either, etc. So you need to practice what you have learned. Okay? This is a speaking practice with your partner. Okay, guys, let's continue, please. Okay, let's see what you can remember from the vocabulary. Uh, the vocabulary we have, we saw last level. Question one, we have some, we learned some new words about weekend activities. So you need to brainstorm words that come to your mind. And we are going to talk about weekend activities, TV shows, food, clothes. For example, we have in weekend activities, we have, let's read. Irene, can you read the weekend activities, please? Yes, uh, play sport, eat out, sleep play, and go to a group. Okay, what other words you remember about weekend activities? Okay, you are going to write it on the chat. First, this one. Okay, I will tell you one by one. First, weekend activities, then TV shows. Victor, can you read TV shows? Okay, TV shows, the news, talk shows, cartoons, Documentaries. Cartoons or documentaries? Documentaries. Okay, documentaries. Yes. Food. Can you read? Marco? Hello? Yes, thank you. Food. Can you read? List? Okay. Uh, free fish, vegetable, in the cream. Okay, fruit, repeat, fruit, fruit, fish, fish, vegetables, vegetables, yes, vegetables, vegetables, ice cream, ice cream. No, you by yourself, just you. Read one more time, Marco. Fruit, fruit, vegetables, 
is ice cream. Ice cream. One, one more time. Fruit, not fruit. Fruit. Fruits. Fruit. Okay. Fish. Fish. Vegetables. Vegetables. Yeah. Uh, un poquito de énfasis en AS. Vegetables. Vegetables. Uh -huh. Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. Okay, Ice cream. Practice. Practice. Okay. Um, Kenya. Clothes. Can you read the list? A sweater. A dress. A sweet. A jacket. Yes. If you see, you have the article here. A sweater. A dress. A suit. A jacket. Okay. Now. As, yes. A sweater. A dress. A suit. A jacket. Okay. Fair word. Complete the chart with your favorite things compared with a corner. You're going to write here weekend activities, TV shows, food, and clothes. The same what you have here. But we are going to talk about your favorite things. Okay? Let's do it in teams, please. You have, uh, let me see, it's 5.45. Give you 10 minutes. Hold on.
Okay, let's practice, please. Okay, so let's see, <clears throat> Kenya. I'm gonna say the sentence and you will say, I do too, I am too, or I don't either, or I am not either, okay? I like to play sports. Kenya, you are first. I like to play sports. I do too. I do too. Um, I don't sleep late. I don't either. I don't either. I don't either. I don't either. Either. Either, either. Yes. Um, I usually, I usually go to a club. I am. Um, I usually I go to a club. I do too. Okay, good. Carolina. Yes, teacher. I love documentaries. I do too. I do too. I don't like the news. I do too. No, I don't like the news. I don't like the news. Uh, I neither. I, I don't neither. I don't either. I don't either. Okay. Um, I like movies. I don't too. No, I like movies. I do too. I do too. Yes. Just pay attention if, if the, the statement or the sentence is positive or negative. If it's positive, you use too. I do too, I, I am too. If it's negative, you use neither. I don't neither, I don't either, or or uh, I am not either. One or the other, positive, negative. Just focus on that, two or either. Okay, a uh, good- Teacher. Part. Yes? And I, and if I disagree with uh, with you? Uh-huh. Uh, what what uh, is the answer? Well, you can change it like the, in the example. You said, uh, for example, I said um, I don't I don't like pizza. You said really well. I I I love pizza. That's a different answer. Okay, it's only the change. Yeah, you have to change the answer. Okay. I like pizza. I said really. How come? Well, that's a different. Really? Well, I love pizza. Me encanta la pizza. Okay. So no that's the answer. Mm -hmm. But you need to say something more. Okay, we are about to finish for the, the first part. This is six o'clock. Just fin let's finish this exercise. Uh, Victor. Yeah. Okay. I love shoes. Uh, really, uh, I don't like shoes. I prefer uh, tennis. Tennis shoes, okay. Yeah. Like, uh, I don't like jackets. Uh, I don't either. I don't either, yeah. But remember, right now we are we are just practicing neither. I mean, either or two, right? Then when you have a uh, more practice, you can add more information. Um, I hate sweaters. I don't like sweaters. I don't either. Okay. Lupita, are you there, Lupita? You were uh, gone. Yes, teacher, here. Where are you? 
Where have you been? Is your internet or what? No, is internet. Uh huh. Yes, is a uh, full. Mm, okay. Are you understanding the topic here? Uh, so, so teacher, um, the question, please. Is the uh, yeah. Uh, for example, I said, I like pizza. Yes. Said, uh, I do too. Right? Is the, is the example, I love it. Me encanta, como decía. I love fish. I like fish. You said? Yes. I do too. Yes. And vegetable, I love it. Yeah, but we are practicing two or either. El y tú también o tampoco me gusta okay. la pizza a mí también no me okay. gusta el pescado a mí tampoco we are practicing that in English yes for example uh, the the vegetable uh, teacher how do you say uh, chicharos is how is is uh, sí. For example, is, eh, is either, either, don't uh, like. You, you shouldn't like peace, I don't either. I, can I say don't I, either. Yeah. Okay. I don't like peace, I don't like, I don't either. Okay. Irene, let's finish with Irene. Ah, we have Marco Antonio. Irene. Yes. I like cartoons. Uh, I like to. I do too. I do too, perdón. Okay. Um, I don't sleep late. I don't either. Yes. I like the news. I do too. Okay. I don't play, I don't play sports. Really? Uh, I I play volleyball. Oh, excellent. All right, Marco Antonio. I like fish. Uh, I do too. I love fruit. Uh, fruit, fruit. Um, I like fruit. I am too. I like fruit. I like, I do, I do too fruit. I do too, I do too. You don't have to say fruit again. Fruit. Okay, I don't like ice cream. Marco. No, no, I, I don't, I don't like either. Yes, I don't either. Yes, excellent. Uh, Marco, I am tired. I am tired. I am tired. Mm -hmm. um, I, I am, am, I am, I am the two. I am two. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, guys, it's six of five. Let's come back at 630, please. Have a small break, have something to eat or something to drink, and come back at 6 30. Okay? Okay, teacher. See you later. Enjoy. See you, teacher. See you later. Bye. See you. Yeah.